Welcome, we would like to introduce you to our school's new learning management system. I'm Rurik Nakrud, or McZen. You are looking at the family portal currently. I am going to go ahead and show you how you would go about logging into this space. So as a parent, you can go over to this little lock button up here, and once you click on that button, you will go to a login screen that should allow you to put in the username and password that you were sent. Once you've put that information in, you will be brought to the family portal. Special thanks to Adela Skinner for sharing her username with us so that we could create this tutorial. The one difference you will see in your space versus this one right up here right now is that you will not have this button that says login as admin user. That's not going to be available to you. It's the way in which I got into Ms. Skinner's space. From the family portal, you can click on groups in order to see your students' classes and the home pages for their specific classes. As you can see, if I hover over one of the names, there's a little pop-up that says academic classes. Hovering over the academic classes shows the list of classes your specific student has. Today we're going to go ahead and just click on dashboard to go into the learning management system as a whole. In addition to clicking groups dashboard, you can click on a child's academic class and go specifically to that class from the portal page. This here is the actual learning management system or LMS. Once you enter the learning management system using those menus at the, that were at the top of the previous page, you can go back to the portals by clicking the portals button. Additionally, you can see two major features on this first page of the learning management system, the activity stream and the calendar. The calendar is a conglomerate of all calendar-based needs or issues related to all of your children. So as you can see here, we see the 6th grade science read and fill in is due, as well as the 8th grade read and fill in. You can change your activity stream to be specific to a, uh, a child by clicking on their name and hitting apply. This will bring up a list of the activities that have been specifically added or are available for those children. In addition to that, you can go into the specific classes using the class menu. If you click, for example, on Gabriella's Latin class, you will see that the teacher of this class has created an entire setup that includes websites, tweets, resources, YouTube videos, magazines, and all sorts of other information. In addition to creating and checking out different classes, you can also, from that main dashboard, look at a calendar that is a conglomerate of all of your students' information. Clicking on calendar here will bring up a page that shows all the names of the students, their classes, with checkboxes which allow you to quickly and easily focus the information available to you on the calendar to the left. As you can see, there are several assignments here and they're all color coded. You can change the color coding to fit your specific needs. If you'd like to color code all the information for each child, say Gabriella was all going to be blue, you can do so to simplify the reading experience. Another thing you can do is if there's a class where the workload is really important to keep track of, you can export the feed and know what is going on all the time on your own personal calendar. For example, I can go to the 8th grade Latin class, click on iCal, and either get a standard URL to put into an iCal calendar for a Mac user, add it directly to the Google Calendar, or add it directly to another calendar such as Outlook. There's also an XML feed if you're familiar with those. In addition to calendars, you also have the ability to look at messages. Messages are an internal system just to the learning management system where you might feel the need to send a message to a specific teacher. Please be aware that if you receive a notification in your email about a message, you cannot reply to that email in order to send a message. You must click the link in the email in order to come to the learning management system, log in, and reply to that message. There are many different ways that you can get information out of the learning management system. We want to help you get the most you can out of the system and so we are going to continue to build tutorials that will help you through this process. In the meanwhile, please feel free to contact the technology department head Sarah Raleigh with any questions. Thank you.